Hello guys, today I am go- I'll tell you how to make this Tesla coil or you could call it the plasma glow as I kept the bulb here. So let's begin. And for that you need a pipe like this and some coil this is a coil this is a wire and you should make now number of turns means uh, here I in this coil I have made some 1200 turns in the secondary coil here also one this uh, another coil which I made this also 1200 this is something about 750 or 800 turns and this will also work in the turn ratios you need uh, means secondary coil must need some uh, number of turns of something from 600 to above you can do it till 2000 so here after that you need to make the primary coil for the primary coil I have used a thick wire like this it's a thick insulated magnetic wire it's very thick and that's what I used here to wind it's four turns one time like, like this four turns coming out here or you could use two of this two in see parallel like this but I don't use this because it's too hard to adjust or you could make smaller cables many smaller cables in parallel and make a bigger one like this thick, bigger and thicker this is much more better than this one but I don't have much bigger length of this I only have some small centimeter like this and the main thing while making this Tesla coil is a is that this plast, I have kept plastic co- in a cover and some bubble wrap over here this to insulate this uh, transformer it's it's just like a transformer it's not really a transformer as in transformers you need an iron core in between these two primary and secondary coil but here there is no iron core or anything like that it's just wound around some plastic tube like this so the sec insulation is very important as this is a spark cap tesla coil and in spark cap tesla coils the primary coil may produce very high voltage make it has high voltage and it could make arcs to the secondary coil uh, and it could just burn off your insulation from the secondary coil and thus shorting the coil so it's very bad for your coil and it could burn away easily so i have made two other secondary coils like this just like that and for this one I have made an insulation using some uh, plus this is a cardboard piece I have wound it around I'll just keep it like this I'll just insert it here and then put the coil like this this to insulate the secondary coil this is this itself is much more than needed uh, but here because I and it was my first time ma- of making the primary coil primary and secondary for the tesla coil so i did so much wrapping and other things to insulate it much more better and the next thing you need is a flyback transformer and a driver for that this is a drive uh, this is the driver for the flyback transformer you could find this transformers in old tvs and other stuffs it could produce from uh, 5k to 20k so I am going to start this. I'll just show you how much voltage it could produce. Look. I'll just show you it's just look. As you saw, it uh, produced very very large arcs. In if you want to increase the length of the arc, you can just reduce the number of turns in the primary coil. This is a primary coil. I'll speak about this flyback transformer and the driver in the next video so let's leave that topic now for now
and the next video I'll tell means in detail about the circuit and everything and this is a battery for which I, I am using and I made this lithium ion battery pack it's an 18650 battery pack and it has a voltage of 11.6 there are 6 batteries here 6 18650 batteries where 2 in parallel and 3 in series with a protection board so the next thing you need is a high voltage capacitor this is a four kilo, uh, 2 kilo volt capacitor each so in parallel it should make you know it's in series it should make something about 4 kilo volt you can read it I hope you can read it. Now it's visible this is a capacitor the next thing you need is a spark gap we just spray uh, solder to yeah and there's a spark gap you can see it's a small gap here this is where the arc jumps this is the main part of the uh, Tesla coil has the and due to this only it's known as spark gap Tesla coil and I'll show you the circuit diagram now so this is circuit diagram for this this is a secondary coil the large this main coil and this is a primary coil this one so capacitor and the spark gap there's a spark gap I'm showing you like, yeah. and the in here's the input voltage it's 25 kilo volt AC I'm using this circuit you can also use the other circuit which is present in the internet I'll show that and this is the circuit here the capacitor and the spark gap are just exchanged with each other this, this circuit also works I have made these both circuits and both worked very properly so let's close the book this is my book for circuit diagrams it's filled with circuit diagrams and tesla coil circuits i have made many tesla coil circuits here i don't know i have only been able to make this one not this one ah this one this one only work rest all of these circuits didn't work for me I don't know why I'll just try these other circuits and then make a video on them but for now the main topic is spark gap tesla coil so I have shown you the diagram now let's watch some of its working performances So hope you liked my video please subscribe and share my video and one more thing as you all know about the coronavirus please try to stay at home bye please